What is up guys, welcome back for another OU Live today. We haven't actually done one of these in a while, I feel like. Uh, probably because I've been straying away from the tier, very much so. I haven't been enjoying OU as much. Uh, a lot of hacks has been coming my way on the ladder. Uh, not just that, but it's it's very stale and it's hard to find a good team. We're going to be starting out with this team today. I made a little, little Megalodias team with uh, Magneton, Clefable, Gengar, Tangrowth, and uh, AV Conk over here. So uh, let's check it out. Let's see if we can get a couple of games. It is quite late right now when I'm recording, but uh, look at that. We get bird spam right off the bat. Very nice. All right. So how do we stop bird spam from going insane? Let's see. Um, Latias isn't bad. However, there's the Talon Flame. We're a little bit slower than usual. Uh, I put a little bit more into physical defense, so I'd be able to take hits a little bit better. Uh, Dragonite looking like a problem. I'm going to have to get a Barox ASAP. Um, don't know how I'm gonna do that exactly. Let's just actually lead with, I think Gengar is my best lead to counter the Azelf. Because normally these things only run, like, Explosion as their only offensive move. Hopefully, <laughs> I think. Uh, let's just go for a Shadow Ball. He goes for Rocks. Awesome. Uh, he won't be able to explode on us, which is a good thing. I'm not sure if he carries U-Turn or not, but, uh, we're gonna go for a... Sludge Wave, I think, is the best play right here to cover almost any switch except for Excadrill. Uh, he can't explode on me, so he might want to keep his Zelf in the back. Not sure. We'll see what he wants to do. He goes for Taunt. We're going to be able to knock out this Zelf. Uh, we don't have any hazard removal on this team because I felt like it wasn't super necessary. Uh, he might just go Talonflame here, I think, would be his best play. Yep. Um, and on this thing, I really want to go into Magneton, expecting the Brave Bird. Don't know how well we're actually going to take it. It is quad resisted, so it shouldn't be too bad. I think about maybe like 25%. He might just U-turn as well. I don't really want to risk Lefable here. I'm trying to think what Conk does this game. Uh, counters the uh, Excadrill and the Manaphy pretty well. We have Thunder Punch on this set as well as Mock Punch, so that's not too bad. Ice Punch for the Dragonite. Yeah, Conk can actually put in a lot of work. Uh, what's looking like the least valuable member is actually Tangrowth. It looks like pure setup fodder, so I'm going to sack it right here. <laughs> Uh, to a Flare Blitz, so he actually predicts the switch uh, into um, Magneton right there and goes for the Flare Blitz. Uh, should he go for another one, he will have to take a another Rocky Helmet hit, which will put him in Rock range, which is very nice. And we'll see what he wants to do here. Uh, he might just switch out, honestly, which is why I'm going for Sleep Powder, be able to catch something on the switch. As he does choose to switch into Dragonite, we are going to get a Sleep Powder off on this thing. It is not Lum, which tells me it is more than likely weakness policy. So what I'm going to do here is actually just go Clef, uh, set up my Stealth Rocks, threaten him out with a Moon Blast, and we have Scarf Magneton in the back to deal with Manaphy, so it's not too bad. Looking alright, looking alright. I think we should be able to take this one. He goes into Driller, that's absolutely fine. I can totally see him Earthquaking right here, so I'm actually just going to Soft Boiled. Uh, as he does Earthquake, awesome. We're going to be able to get it back all this health. And now what I want to do is, I think just Moon Blast, honestly. Yeah, he's going to Earthquake again. It's going to do 50. It's not enough. We're going to be weakening his Driller slowly, but surely. Um, that did 50. How much did the last one do? 45. Okay, so it's a mid-roll. Uh, he's going to go into Manaphy. Uh, I'm just going to T-Wave this thing, honestly, because I don't see a reason not to. And now that our rocks are up, we should be good to go. Uh, we're going to T-Wave that, and then we're going to get off a Moon Blast right here, and that should put it in T-Punch range, I think. Uh, I could be wrong, but we'll go for the uh, Moon Blast right here. Uh, he goes for the Ice Beam quite curious all right uh and now we're just going to moon blast again honestly and put him in definite t-punch range right there uh that should be enough yeah i think so hopefully <laughs> we, can, we can only hope <laughs> let's go for thunder punch all right let's see and yes he does go down awesome okay so talon might come in here uh in which case i think well, he, the rocks are still up, right? And he's below. I can't even see percentages right now, guys, and it's really obnoxious. But I'm pretty sure his, uh, his talent flame is below 50%. So, seeing as we have Scarf Magneton in the back, I feel like I can sack this. But then I don't really have anything for Driller, and that's what I'm worried about. So, maybe Gengar is the sack. Yeah, Gengar is definitely the sack here. We'll just go into that. And he's going to go for a return. Awesome. And now we're going to go into Magneton. I need to run a Calc real quick just to see if Scarf Magneton can take out a Pinsir with an HP Fire. I don't think it can, but it might put it in Mach Punch range, which is still not good because he has, uh, let's see, because um, he has Quick Attack. So uh, Mega Pinsir OU Swords Dance from Magneton. If Magnezones doesn't kill it, Magneton certainly won't. 
Uh, choice Scarf. HP Fire does 50 to 59, so yeah, that's definitely not enough. The only thing I'm scared of is giving his Driller a free switch. Um, how scared am I of that, though? Like, realistically. Because Talonflame is the real big problem here. Uh... I just want to keep his Driller out. Like, that's the big thing right now. I want to damage it when it comes in, but I don't think we knock it out anyway. Excadrill, I'm pretty sure. Choice Scarf, yeah, it does 48 to 57. That's nowhere near enough. So I'm just going to fire off a T-Bolt. He is going to get the switch out into Driller. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're just going to T-Bolt again. And I think we're going to perpetually T-Bolt. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. We might have to switch out on any given turn. But we do lose our rocks here, which is a little bit unfortunate. The thing is, if he Earthquakes, that gives my Lottie a free switch. So, not sure what he wants to do. Spinning is definitely the play, in my opinion, because you want as many offensive threats as possible to be able to take out Latias. Because um, he should have figured it out by now that it's Mega, so... HP Fire would have been a good play. We would have gotten a lot of damage off on this drill, but then again, he would have just knocked us out anyway. And then we would have been locked into HP Fire, which is even worse. So we're going to stay in here. We're going to go for the T-Bolt. Uh, I'm going to T-Bolt again and see if he just wants to continue rapid spinning. In which case, I might switch out into my Latias. We'll see. I know he's Scarfed, because this one's always Scarfed. <sighs> switch out. Just, 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 just go into Talonflame. And then go into Pinsir. Like, <laughs> that would be the best, if that's what he did. Um, Dragonite should be able to take two Thunderbolts, in theory. So that could be a problem as well. Uh, then again, I have Mach Punch in the back, so it's not a huge deal. Just going to go for a Rapid Spin again. Uh, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to go out on the Latias. Uh, at this point, I don't think he'll switch. I think he's just going to continuously Rapid Spin, which he is. Awesome. And now... Now I really just want to go for a Calm Mind, honestly. We're not faster than Pinsir, which kind of annoys me. I'm just going to go for a Calm Mind. He's going to go out into Dragonite. We are going to Mega Evolve. Get this Calm Mind off. And uh, I'm going to break his scale with Psy Shock first. And then I'm going to Depulse him. Because he's not faster than us, so... This should be fine. If at any time he wants to go back into Drill, that's fine by me. Because I'll, uh, I'll just roost off the damage. Because Driller can't do too much to us. Too terribly much, I don't believe. 330 defense, we should be fine. We break the scale with the Psy Shock, And we will be able to go for the Deep Pulse right here. And knock out his Dragonite, which is awesome. He doesn't know how fast we are. Because all we were out speeding was his Dragonite up until now. So, curious to see what he's going to do. Should he go Talonflame? I might switch out. I'm not sure yet. I need to keep Latias for... Yeah, I need to keep Latias for the Pinsir. He's not below 50. Okay, so the rocks weren't too important. Uh, yeah, I really have to go Magneton here. I don't have a choice. And uh, hopefully he Brave Birds, because then we can go for HP Fire. So, fingers crossed. Let's see what he does. It's taking quite a while. And he leaves. <laughs> All of a sudden, okay. Not sure if he realized that he had lost to Magneton. But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll see if he comes back. We'll just pause it and then we'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Alright guys, so my opponent never came back. Uh, I always take these pausing moments as a chance to go and get some water. So, that's kind of quite nice, quite nice. Try to jump into another battle right here. First win of the episode, not too bad. My opponent has a lot more offensive team, uh, I feel like. Not that bird spam isn't offensive, but, like, just the fact that I know how it works kind of mitigates that. Um... Magneton's not faster than his Aerodactyl. It's probably a Mega Arrow. I'm going to lead off with Clef, because it leads off the best against this thing, I feel. Uh, we're actually just going to fire off a Moonblast in case he's Taunt. Uh, as he actually chooses to switch out into Zapdos, so okay, that's fine. I'll take that. And uh, we'll just get up Rocks right here. And uh, he's going to switch out into his Heatran, which is absolutely fine, because now his Zapdos comes in at like 60, I think. 77 it comes in even lower it comes in at 52 so that's really nice um i do have a switch to this it's called conkelder we are guts by the way uh he does go for magma storm that's absolutely fine we'll take a little bit more damage uh he can't really stay in on a drain punch though so i'm actually just gonna ice punch this turn as my opponent does go out into zapdos as predicted 
and we are able to leave that thing at 5%. He does get the static, which actually means that my mock punch would take him out, but this is another opponent that leaves. What's going on tonight? All right, let me just pause it, guys. Yeah, all right, so we got that win. Um, I'm going to count those two as one win together, even though they're technically both wins, just for you guys so that you can actually get a few more games and that aren't just people leaving and disconnecting, so we'll do that. But uh, team's looking solid. I feel like it's got a couple of flaws, but every team does. So I think, uh, again, as always, guys, you guys know that you can hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think would be better over what. Uh, just to give you an idea, because a couple of mons haven't hit the field. Uh, well, no, I think they all have, actually. Uh, Tangrowth's Rocky Helmet, as you guys saw. We're up against the Blunder team. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, Tangrowth can definitely take uh, Fake Out into Ice Punch from Metacham. So I'm just going to lead off with that. Um... Metacham is definitely something that I do not like going up against. Uh, let me just see Tangrowth, the defensive set, versus a Mega Metacham. Because High Jump Kick technically does more. Uh, does 78 to 92. Wow. Okay. Uh, but he's actually going to lead off with Lando, which is Scarfed. So this is very nice. Uh, that means that I get to put something to sleep or get rid of something's item. And I think I'm just going to knock off here. He's going to go for a U-turn. He's going to take the Rocky Helmet damage. And we get a free knockoff right here. High Jump Kick from a Jolly uh, Metacham actually does take us out from here. Does 78 min. So I'm going to have to be very careful around that thing. The thing is, he can't just spam High Jump Kick. Because we do have a, um, a Gengar in the back. And if he is Jolly, which he's not actually. Hold on a second. He's not Jolly. I know for a fact he's adamant. Uh, Blunders is always adamant. It does 66 to 78 from an Ice Punch. That's what I wanted to see. Okay, we're able to get rid of uh, Jirachi's Leftovers, which is nice. Uh, now we're going to go for a Sleep Powder right here. As he actually goes for another U-turn, takes more damage, and now something's going to sleep if we can connect, which is very nice. I'm not scared of this Jirachi at all. Like, I, I don't know why he didn't set up rocks, to be honest. Uh, he's going to go Metacham, which is nice. We're able to put that thing to sleep. All right, cool. Uh, and now I'm just going to switch out into my Gengar, I believe, because there's no double that he can make that would really punish me. Uh, other than maybe Latios. That's about it. He's going to Mega Evolve. He's going to stay fast asleep. And now we get off a free Shadow Ball on anything on his team. This is a two-hit KO on any of his members. Uh, his Lando is, of course, Scarfed. So we're going to have to switch out against that thing. It doesn't carry knockoff, I don't believe. Yeah, no, 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 it does. It's four attacks. Yeah, uh, it does carry knockoff. We have this team. We've used this team before. Like, if I just go to my team builder over here, guys, you're going to see. Uh, I have it. It's like team 80, I think. Untitled 80. Is that what it is? Hold on. Uh, 80, 80, 80, 80. Yeah, there it is. Right here. I have all the sets. You can see it's adamant. Uh, this thing is life orb, three attacks, plus roost. Uh, his hazard removal does not exist, so that would be very nice to get up. He's going to go to Lando. You're gonna take a tremendous amount from that, and uh, I think we're just going to hit up Clef here and get up our rocks. He's gonna go for a knockoff, it's gonna do absolutely nothing, and his Metacham is still fast asleep. Uh, Clef puts in a lot of work against him. I'm actually just going to T Wave here, expecting the Rachi as he does go into it. Awesome, we are now faster, so he can't flinch us down. Just gonna go for the stealth rocks as he goes for his own. So, this is a problem that we both have to deal with is these rocks. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trap him with Magneton. He might go for a Healing Wish to wake up his Metacham. He actually just goes for a U-turn. That's fine. Uh, we are faster than his whole team outside of Landorus. Uh, if Landorus comes in, I will just go back into Tangrowth. He cannot go for any move that would really punish me outside of maybe Knockoff. Does just choose to go into Metacham, though. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I'm just going to Volt Switch out here. Um, and I'm going to go into Tangrowth, I think. Well, tank growth is slower. Can I risk my Gengar at this point? <sighs> Not really, because I don't have anything faster than this. Well, I can always go into Clef after. Yeah, that's fine. I'll go into Gengar. If he wakes up and he high jump kicks, he'll uh, get crash damage. So we'll be able to knock something out here. And he does forfeit, so that's going to be another win for us. We're at 14 minutes, 14 and a half. So looking pretty good. And uh, let's keep going. Let's see how many wins we can get with this team. Uh, we are up against, apparently, a god. Um... Another very Gengar weak team. I see the Mega Pinsir, which is always a threat. That thing's a huge threat to us. That's kind of why I have Scarf Magneton as well, uh, just so that I can outspeed that. And Because I wanted to go as much special attack as possible so that uh, Ferrothorn couldn't stall me down. 
Uh, as well as Magneton having less HP means that he gets less back from um, Leech Seed. When Ferrothorn Leech Seeds Magneton, so that's why I decided to go with Magneton over Magna Zone. It's also a little bit faster, so I was able to run uh, like the standard speed that Magna Zone runs uh, 238 or 239 with 371 attack, which is really strong. So makes uh, Magneton a little less bulky, a little more offensive. That's what I that's what I like about it. Uh, in this matchup, I really like. Um, Again, I really just like the Clef lead, but he has so many good counter leads to that. Like, he could easily lead Rachi. Uh, Lando's a decent lead. I'm going to lead Conk here, guys, uh, because I feel like it loses me the least, as he does lead off with Infernape. So I'm just going to T-Punch this. Uh, if he wants to switch into his uh, Rotom or Tentacruel, they're going to take a decent amount of damage, uh, especially Tentacruel. But uh, this is probably my best play, just a T-Punch. I don't think Close Combat, even from Banded, takes me out, because we are pretty bulky. Uh, let me just, oh, he made a move. He switches out into his Landorus, okay. Uh, I do have the Ice Punch, uh, so we are going to go for that. We'll find out if he's Scarfed right here. Uh, if he wants to get up Rocks, then he's going to effectively lose his Lando. He is seemingly Scarfed. Normally, Scarfed only runs U-Turn, so we'll figure it out. But uh, Freeze would be cool. That'd be awesome. It goes into Tentacruel, <laughs> okay. Uh, that Freezing that isn't going to do anything because he has Scald. Well, let's hope he has Scald. Um, I'm going to take this as an opportunity to switch in my... Uh, actually, he's going to want to Thaw, right? So let's go for a Thunder Punch, and hopefully he burns us right here. <laughs> we'll get the uh, the Guts. He does not, and he takes 43% from that, from minus one. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, and I'm just going to go for Ice Punch here, predicting his Lando to come in. I won't do enormous, like an enormous amount of damage, because we are going to be minus two. He actually chooses to go for a Knock Off. Okay, interesting. Uh, and I'm just gonna Ice Punch again, honestly. He might be AV. Uh, no, he's Black Sludge. Okay, I didn't see the recovery. But uh, I'm just gonna keep Ice Punching as he does go into Lando. Yep. All right, we are able to catch that. Do 70%. Very nice. We also see that he is not Rocky Helmet uh, or Leftovers, so that leads me to believe that he is Scarfed. I'm gonna go directly into my Tangrowth here. Take this Earthquake, no problem. And now we are going to put something to sleep. So... Hopefully it's that Infernape, that'd be awesome. That's probably his best switch. Man, I like Sleep Powder. There we go, nice and rotchy, awesome. Gonna be able to knock off right here, get rid of its item if it's, uh, it's not a Choice Scarf, it's definitely Leftovers. My opponent chooses to go out into Infernape, loses his item as a result, which is a Life Orb, good to know. Uh, and I feel like Clef is probably the safest here. Latias is actually pretty safe as well, but just in case he's U-turn, I'm gonna go into Clef. Uh, he chooses to Fire Blast, so he is special. That's fine. And uh, I think we're just going to get up Rocks here. If he chooses to... to uh, <laughs> I can't speak. To switch out into Tentacruel, then it's fine. Uh, he does go Tentacruel. That's okay. I'm good with that. And uh, I think we're just going to Thunder Wave this thing, honestly. If he wants to Sludge Wave, I'm okay with that, too. Because he has too many answers to Clef. Like, he just goes for a knockoff. That's fine. We're going to Paralyze this thing. And now we're going to go into Conk. We're still AV. Actually, he might have knocked us off. Yeah, I think he knocked us off. So we're not going to take the Sludge Wave too well, if he has it. But uh, he does go for Scald. Does he get the burn? Nope. All right. We are not minus one now, though, so he has to be very careful around this. Uh, I'm just going to T-Punch, because even if his uh, Lando comes in, it's fine. <clears throat> He's actually going to get fully paired on that turn. A little unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, I think Drain Punch would be able to take him out from that range. We have another forfeit right there. We are 18 minutes and a half deep. So we're going to get another one. We're four wins, zero losses so far. Not bad. We might be able to get like five or six wins. I don't want to jinx myself, but it's looking pretty good. I like this team. I really like this team. Uh, it's a little bit different before. It had like an Azumarill on it, a Volcarona. I was finding a lot of problems with the Synergy though. So I switched it up and I, I adjusted the team a little bit. Looks a lot better now. Definitely. I like the uh, the Clef Gengar combo. Because <laughs> they're they're like Shadow. They're like Gengar's a Shadow of Clefable, if you guys didn't know. That's the original lore. Uh, my opponent has a very Gengar weak team again. Like, why does everybody make like super Gengar weak teams? It's crazy. Like every time I get to Shadow Ball, something takes over 50% easily. So it's uh, it's not great. Um, Azumarill is looking checkable by Tangrowth. Uh, as long as he doesn't get up a belly drum, which could be an issue. Latias can definitely take a hit, though, from an Aqua Jet, I mean. Um, I really don't have a super good lead here because he has two Steel types. Um, no, you know what? Conkelder is a solid lead. 
against his Garchomp, that's absolutely fine. We're just gonna Ice Punch this thing. He's got three Ice Weeks and three Ice Resists. I love that. It's so gonna go for Stealth Rocks. We're gonna get off this Ice Punch. It's gonna do a tremendous amount. He is Rocky Helmet. Uh, we do get the Freeze. Ooh. Alright. Taking, taking advantage of this, I'm gonna go out in the Clef and get off my own Rocks. Uh, as he is gonna stay frozen. Uh, we are gonna get those off. He might stay in here, which would be awesome. Because then we get off our rocks for free. But he is going to go into Magna Zone. Smart play. Uh, I kind of want to predict the electric move. Because I don't have an electric resist on my team. I just, I'm just going to go for soft boiled. He is going to go for Volt Switch. Okay, cool. Uh, I wish I would have T-Wave there. Because I feel like the Metagross is coming in. Almost guaranteed. I don't have a great response to Metagross either. I mean, I have a physically defensive um, Tangrowth right here. We're going to go into that. Try to take a hit. I don't know if we're going to be able to. Meteor Mash does more than, uh, does it? No, I don't think it does more than Ice Punch. Um, yeah, no, Ice Punch is definitely stronger. Uh, he's just gonna go for the Mash, that's gonna do 36%, he's gonna take a little bit of Rocky Helmet damage. I'm curious to know if this would knock us out. I don't think it does. Metagross. Give me Ice Punch. 51 to 60. Okay, yeah, it does. Wait, how much did Mash do? Mash did less. It did 36. Why did it do so little? Why do I have no defense on this? Hold on. It's supposed to be fully defensive. Are you defensive? Was I on Tangela or something? <laughs> Meteor Mash, 34 to 40. Ice Punch, 38 to 45. So we can definitely take it. Just gonna throw out a Sleep Powder here as he's gonna go out into Chomp. Great play. Able to mitigate that. And uh, we're just gonna go for the Giga Drain. Hope he stays asleep. Uh, not asleep, frozen, and uh, gain back a little more health. I uh, love Tangrowth, man. Tangrowth is so bulky, it's ridiculous. Such a great physical wall. Just a standard grass type. Like, it's got no other typing, and it's able to be this bulky. It's it's insane. There's a reason this thing went up to OU. Uh, he's gonna go Superior. Um, not sure if I agree with this play. Uh, I do have a Gengar to revenge him. The thing is... The thing is... I can trap both his steel types. Conkelder's actually still pretty, pretty important. I'm just gonna go for a knockoff. He's gonna go for a leaf storm, and he's gonna get a crit right there. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. He's he's life orb. I don't really care. I was I was kind of sacking off Tangrowth at that point anyway. So I'm just gonna go Gengar now, and uh, he either has to make a prediction, or I don't know. I'm gonna go for Sludge Wave. He's going to switch out into his Magna Zone, that's absolutely fine. Really wish I had a ground type, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, so he's going to be able to Volt Switch freely. That's a little annoying. Not going to lie. I think we might actually lose this one. Unless he's not Scarfed. Hold on a second. Volt Switch did how much? 27 to Clef. Let's find out. Clefable. Calm Mind plus Magic Guard. Versus Magna... Magna Zone? Magna Zone? Uh... Choice Specs. Volt Switch normally does 40... No, this thing is Scarfed. This thing is 100% Scarfed. So, I'm just going to switch out into Magneton here. As it is faster than the rest of his team, except if he's Scarfed Lando. Uh, it's kind of one of the reasons I did want to keep Tangrowth, but anyway. Doesn't really matter. Would, would have been able to get off, um... Serp's Life Orb. He's going to go into Landorus right here. I can't see him Earthquaking. I can't see it. So... Okay, wait, he's Leftovers. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, he is Leftovers. So maybe Clef is the best play. I mean, Clef just invites in his Metagross, though. I'm going to Flash Cannon, uh, just for some damage, as he's going to go for the Rock Polish. Ooh, that's a little bit scary. That is definitely a little bit scary. Uh, now, the good news is, he has to knock me out right here, or he's going to lose his Landorus, so he has to attack me, in other words. Um, as a result, I think I'm actually going to switch in, not Gengar. Latias is looking pretty good. Unless he has knockoff, in which case that's a little bit annoying. <sighs> Do I want to lose? I can't lose Magneton. I need it for the Metagross at this point, because I lost my Tangrowth. I can't risk the speed tie with Gengar. It's not, uh, that's not fun. Um, this is hard. This is tough. This is tough, guys. Not gonna lie. 
I think I'm just going to sack off Conkeller. Honestly, I don't have another play. Uh, he is going to go for the Earthquake, that's fine. We're going to be able to get off some Mock Punch damage right here. How am I going to revenge this? With, uh, actually, my best play is to Ice Punch. Ooh, please attack me. Okay, good. Phew! Danger avoided. <laughs> okay. So, uh, he could have Swords Dance right there. That, that would have been extremely scary. Uh, I'm just going to throw out a Dragon Pulse here. I wonder if he has U-turn. He's leftovers plus rock polish. That's such a weird set. Uh, he's just gonna go into Metagross, which is fine. As we are going to throw out a Dragon Pulse, and now I'm gonna switch out into Magneton. This is Magneton's last stand. It's only here for this last Mon. It can't really do anything to anything else, so. I mean, it gets Aqua Jetted by Azumarill. It gets Leaf Storm by Superior. He's just gonna go for the Ice Punch. Awesome. We do not get Frozen, which is cool. And Thunderbolt does more, so we're going to click that. And uh, that doesn't knock him out. Leaves him on 1%. This is where we're having Conk. Would have been nice. Uh, now we have to risk the speed tie. I think. Yeah, we have to risk the speed tie. We do not have a choice. Hopefully we win this or he misses. Either way, I think he'd go for Ice Punch because it knocks me out. But uh, he can't switch out, which is nice. If he does, he's just using this as sack fodder. In which case, he would lose another Pokemon in the process. He does land the Zen Headbutt, unfortunately. And uh, he does beat us in the speed tie. We're going to go into Latias. Hold on a second. How much do you take from Mega Metagross? Like, my defensive set is a little bit different. It's 64 bold, if I'm not mistaken. Versus Metagross. Uh, Mega Metagross all-out attacker. Ice Punch does 46 to 55. Interesting. I want to roost. 52. We don't have leftovers, so we're playing with fire right here. How many Ice Punches does he have? 22? Yeah, I think my best play is just the Dragon Pulse. He's eventually going to crit me. Like, I need an absolute min roll to be gaining back any health, so I'm just going to D-Pulse. He's going to Ice Punch. Uh, he's going to be able to bring us down really low. And I think Magneton can come in and finish us off here. I'm pretty sure. Uh, Magnezona, excuse me. So, uh, I'm just in case. I, sh I should have probably roosted there, but it didn't matter. That was pretty much game over. I'm just going to Moonblast. He is going to be able to 2-hit KO us with this Flash Cannon. Obviously being Scarfed. Uh, and no drop would have been able to help us there. So, that's going to be a good game. And we'll move on to the next one. Click an X there. And uh, I think we're going to end it off with this next one. Uh, definitely looking like a much more manageable team. God Gyarados, I've played this guy before. Um, I like Gengar. I also really like Conkelder as a lead. Because I see Kecleon leading, I can see Dawnfan leading, Magnazone, the uh, Kirim could lead. So yeah, I'm going to lead Conk. He leads Kecleon. I'm kind of expecting a Shadow Sneak, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to go for an Ice Punch right here. He does go for the Shadow Sneak, predicted that. Beautiful, able to get off this Ice Punch, good damage, and uh, I think he's going to stay as a Ghost, right? More than likely. Uh, we'll just go for another Ice Punch, and we are able to knock out the Kecleon. Nice roll there. Awesome. Uh, we were faster, so I could have Mock Punched him technically. He's going to go into Metacham. I'm assuming he has Zen Headbutt, so I'm going to switch into Tangrowth. If he goes for a High Jump Kick, that's fine. We will be able to live it. Uh, as he does go for the Zen Headbutt, awesome, we're able to take that, and uh, we can switch right back out here, predicting his High Jump Kick going to Clef. As he does go for High Jump Kick, we are able to take two of those, sweet. And, uh, do I want to switch out into... I'm going to switch back into Tangrowth, give him a little more Rocky Helmet damage. As he does go for the Zen Headbutt, awesome. And now we're going to switch into Gengar. Hopefully High Jump Kicks. He does go for the Zen Headbutt again. Okay, so good play on my opponent's part. Great play. Uh, couldn't do anything about that. Just going to go Magneton here. And I'm going to fire off a Flash Cannon, predicting his uh, Dawn Fan to want to come in. If he goes Magnezone, that's just a really good play. Uh, he does go into Rotom Heat. Okay, that's probably the best middle ground. He has Leftovers, so... Conk? I'm feeling Conk here. Definitely Conk Elder. He might just Volt. He does Volt. It's going to give him a free switch back into, uh, into Metacham here. Whew, not much I can do about this thing. Um, he has Zen Headbutt and High Jump Kick. Does he have Ice Punch is the question. 
I think he would have gone for it earlier, right? Let's go into Tangrowth. He does go for the high jump kick. He's going to do a little bit more damage to us. I'm going to allow him to knock me out here with the high jump kick. And now I'm going to go into Latias, and I'm going to Calm Mind. Yes, I'm going to Calm Mind. Because I expect him to want to switch. Yep, there we go. Beautiful. The Magnazone comes in. Uh, if we are faster than this, then we are in a amazing position right here. I think I might roost. Yeah, because I want to be at as high health as possible. Okay, we're faster. Uh, he does just go for the Volt Switch. That's going to do absolutely nothing after the Calm Mind, which is nice. Good to know we're faster, which means he's probably Specs. Does go into Kiram. He could be Scarfed. He could be Scarfed. Uh, which makes me want to go into Clef really badly. He could also just be max speed. Which would be annoying. Um, does Dragon Claw take me out? Hold on. Kiram. Mix Wall Breaker with Dragon Claw. For example. 72 to 85, so we live. I'm going to D-Pulse. He goes for Ice Beam. We're able to take that. We're going to go for the D-Pulse. Knock out his Kiram. Awesome. All right, cool. Looking good. Metacham comes back in. All right. We are going to hit up Magneton right here. And he goes for the Fake Out, as predicted. Uh, he's probably Jolly. Probably Jolly. Do I just fire off another Flash Cannon, or do I switch in a Conk? I think I, sw I double in a Conk, predicting him to go into uh, Rotom Heat. Or Dawn Fan, that works too. Awesome. He's probably going to get up Rocks right here. You know what, I'm actually going to take this as an opportunity to switch out into Latias as he goes for an Earthquake. Awesome, okay. So we'll be able to roost up. Uh, no move he can hit us with will do a lot of damage, so we'll be able to get all this health back. Uh, Knockoff actually did a tremendous amount, a lot more than I was expecting it to. What the heck, is this max attack? I guess it is. Let's go for the D-Pulse. Weaken this. Uh, he's going to go for another Knockoff, that's fine. We're just going to start roosting here. As long as he doesn't crit us, we're good to go. I'll get up to a uh, decent amount of health as he goes for another knockoff, does 41, gonna keep roosting. And pretty much my roost target at this point is his, um, is his Magnazone, please do not crit me here. As he does not, awesome, and we're just gonna depulse and knock this thing out. Thank you, goodbye Dawn fan, that's one less thing that could switch in, that's the only thing actually that could switch in on a Volt Switch. This is looking, uh, we're kind of reversing this after losing Gengar early, which is pretty much our win con. But, uh, yeah. We're looking okay. And I want to just calc something real quick. Uh, no, his Magnazone was slower. His Magnazone was slower, we already know that. If he goes into, meta his Metacham is so low. Like, and I don't even think it can take me out with a, with a nice punch. Metacham. Yes, it can. <laughs> oh, yes, it can. Okay. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to sack off Clefable here. He does go for the fake out, gets a crit, not a big deal. He needs to hit us up with a Zen Headbutt here. He needs to connect it as well. Uh, I'm actually going to go for Stealth Rocks, because that'll prevent the uh, the Rotom from coming in repeatedly. Hopefully he, he high jump kicks and he misses. <laughs> that would be amazing, uh, because then I really just win. He goes for a Bullet Punch, okay, so that's his... Wait, does he not have Ice Punch? He doesn't have Ice Punch. Ho ho. Okay. Hello. I'm gonna Volt Switch here. Yeah. For sure. Just Volt. If he goes into Rotom, I'll go into, uh, to, into Conk Elder. Actually, I think I'm going into Conk either way. Well, no. If he goes into Magnazone, I'm going into Latios. Uh, Latios, excuse me. To Roost Up. So, let's go into Rotom. Uh, and we are going straight into Conk Elder here. And we're just going to fire off a Drain Punch. If he burns us, we are Guts. We will get the boost. So that's not a good thing for him. And uh, we'll work from there. I think we should be able to take this game. Again, after losing so much momentum early. Uh, if he goes into Metacham, it dies to a Drain Punch. Magnazone will give me back all my health. Beautiful. Looking good. And uh, now he can go into Metacham. He has to click... Zen Headbutt here, which makes me want to go out into Magneton directly, but I, th I know that's a bad play, so I'm just going to mock Punch right here, uh, as he does go for the high jump kick, actually, okay, that's fine, just going to go back into Magneton, just going to fire off another Volt Switch, 
Uh, if he wants to keep this, that's absolutely fine. Like, that does nothing. Uh, yes, awesome. Okay, so he sacks off his Medicham. Just gonna go into Latias. And now we can Roost and Calm Mind and win the game. So yeah, so he forfeits. There we go. So we didn't actually get a, a win where we killed any of the last Pokemon. It's either always a uh, somebody leaving or uh, somebody forfeiting. So it was a really solid team. I really, really like it. It's it's overall balance. It's it's the definition of a balanced team right here. So uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, of course, leave me comments. Let me know what you think of the team, what you would change. And that's going to be it, guys. Catch you later. Ciao.